Bionicle was a highly successful toy line produced by the LEGO Group that lasted for almost a decade. These toys represented a fictional species, and they spawned over four animated movies. I'm going to spend the next few weeks reviewing some of these films, starting with Bionicle, The Mask of Light. The Mask of Light focuses on the story of two little humanoid creatures called Jala and Takua, as they go on a journey to find a legendary warrior using a magical Mask of Light as their compass. It later turns out that Takua is the legendary warrior they've been searching for all along, and he is destined to wear the Mask of Light. In his new identity of Warrior of Light, he must take on a villainous spirit of shadows that's been causing destruction using his minions. Holy moly, this has to be one of the most confusing and convoluted films that I have ever seen. It suffers from inconsistencies, a lack of identifiable characters, and many other problems. Okay, let's cover one problem at a time. First, the inconsistencies. One example includes a scene where two characters are weakened, then minutes later, they seem to be restored without any explanation. Another inconsistency has to be the way that some characters behave. For example, our heroes confront a ice spirit who gives them the cold shoulder, then minutes later he has a very considerate attitude to our heroes. No reason is given for why this character's attitude suddenly changes, therefore, I consider it to be an inconsistency. If you're going to give your character a trope to suit this element, then you might as well stick by it! Unless you want to actually develop the character in some sense! I hate this attitude that some storytellers have, where they make up their facts as they go along without being faithful to their previously stated details. It's damn lazy and an insult to the audience. The film's clumsy storytelling is what makes it so convoluted. A prime example of this is that the finale features an out-of-nowhere moment where the spirit of light meshes with the spirit of shadows, to create a being of harmony that has the power to resurrect the dead. Where did this randomly come from? Why did they suddenly combine? Ugh, the film seriously gives me a headache. Mind you, the film does have some intended substance with its underlying messages and themes of community, spirituality, and other things. However, these ideals aren't explored enough because the focus is on a simplistic adventure story. However, I wouldn't say this film is all bad because I really admire the culture created within the Bionicle universe. It has its own spirituality, sports, and language. This is wonderfully unique. I also found the action set pieces to be fun, thanks to the colourful visuals and well-choreographed fight sequences. The film's characters aren't that interesting, and hardly any of them have any clear personalities. Most importantly, I really couldn't attach myself to the main characters. Takua and Jala are often obnoxious and incompetent. I really couldn't understand why Takua was even destined to be the Spirit of Light, because he's not even that special. He has no impressive skills and no expressive wisdom. However, I really liked one character, the Spirit of Air, a spiritually awakened warrior that appreciates nature and shows practical skills in the art of defense. I also liked the villain, the Shadow Spirit. He has some wonderfully written dialogue that's almost poetically tragic with a hint of cruelty. Now, the designs of the characters are imaginative, but sometimes I couldn't recognize the differences between each one. Maybe it's just me, but some of them looked kind of similar to one another. I think it's important to divide the looks of characters and make each one distinct to prevent the audience from mistaking one for the other. I also have to take issue with the rendering of backgrounds and props in the film. The textures seem lazily slapped on and lack believable detail. However, the animation is acceptably good and never suffers from being too stiff or hard to comprehend, but the choice of designs for the faces have unfortunately limited the emotions on characters. They're not unexpressive, but it feels like more emotions could have been conveyed if their faces weren't designed the way they were. The voice acting is... okay. It's just okay. It's not bad, but it's also far from outstanding. Each voice actor delivers their lines well, but there's nothing really distinctively different between each performance. The music score for The Mask of Light is by far the best content of the movie. It's a mix of choir-fueled orchestral tracks and thumping tribal beats, both of which suit the film's tone. It's a music score that rightfully won an award for its efforts. 
Bionicle The Mask of Light is a messy and stupid movie with failed ideas, but it's good eye candy in terms of visuals. I have to believe that its music score is its highlight, but it doesn't substitute the plot's lack of coherency or strength. Next week I'll be reviewing its sequel, The Legends of Metra Nui.